So now we're going to do, we're going to run a job via the scheduler. So we have this stage table that we recently created, and now we're going to execute it via the scheduler. So first we're going to take a look at the scheduler. You have the ability to filter. We can filter on jobs that are on hold, jobs that are running, and jobs that have been completed. So now we can come in to the tool and I can right click and I can process this table via the scheduler. So now we can go back to the scheduler and we can look at the job and it is running. We can see it in the traditional way of Wearscape um, that it is in here and this process is running. And then we also have the ability to come in and we can look at the dashboard for this. So if we come in here, this is our new dashboard. It's built on Azkaban Scheduler. So we can see jobs that are executing. That one finished before we got to this point. And we can look and see that this was recently finished. It ran in 11 seconds. That's why we were not able to see it. And we can go in and we can look at the start and the finish and how long it took to execute each step. And we can see the actual processing of it. I can look at the log file and says what happened. All of this is available. We can look at the history. So this is the, the stage table that we executed. We can we can see different histories and stuff and and what's going on. So I can see what has been scheduled, what executors we have running, all of these capabilities. And if we go back into Wearscape, we can refresh and see all the jobs and see that it was completed and it ran in the amount of time it ran, the number of records inserted. So that's how you can kick off a job in the scheduler and if you if you have issues you can look at different filters on how to do it. We can even look at the configuration of it because this is the URL user ID, password, and there's a REST API to call it as well. So that's kicking, kicking off and running a job via the scheduler. If you are interested in more information, please go to wearscape.com slash request the demo.